is normally a travel vlog uh, with the occasional tap room included but in this trip to Krakow we visited so many tap rooms we figured we might as well do a separate episode of it. So this is the first ever tap room safari episode. We know nothing about beer except that we like beer and it has become so trendy crafted beer. I'm quite sure this is not our last episode of the tap room safari. I hope we don't offend anyone. It's just us being us. So take it for what it is. Enjoy. Our first stop, Multikulti Tap Bar. First was number five. Number six. Number twenty-four. Number twenty-four. It smells like sausage. Oh, I'm sorry, but it was awful. Oh, it smells like. If you drink the water after you cook the sausage in it, oh, what? Zero to minus mango, peach, peach. Mm. Much better, much better. Three. Mm. Oh. It's like a summer summer day when you're 10 years old. Kind of a sad story. Three and a half. Perfect breakfast. I can start every day with this one. Also a very sad story. Five out of five. Try. It's an APA called Thu Moston Salamander. It's nice. It's really a, a kind of a light on the lighter side of APAs, but it's really refreshing. And there's some citrus in it that's really, really nice. I'm not sure if I ever had an American pale ale, right? A lot of honey. It's perfect for a sunny day when it's really warm outside. So I would say it's a 3.5 on a 5 grade scale. 2.5? Is that low? Well, it's a little thin. The second one is an AIPA. It's called Starry Crack of Raka. It smells nice. Wow, it's a really rich one. There's a full body of flavor in it. It's really nice. And the taste kind of lingers on which I like, so it's not on the thin side. Interesting. A lot of hops in it and kind of flowery. Even a little bit too flowery for me. I would give it a three. I would give this a solid four. The third one here is the one that I'm looking forward to the most. The guy who sold it to us said it was one of the top three rated beers on Untapped. It's a wheat IPA and it's called, and this is gonna sound awful, Trochich Kumpli Pan I Pani. Something like that. It's really, really good. It's, it's very well balanced being an IPA. There are bubbles to it, but they're very thin and it's a complement to the taste and the fruitiness of it. It's really smooth. I'm not that kind of girl who likes wheat beer, but it looks really good. Oh, it smells like mango. 
Yep. I like this one. It's like a melted popsicle. I would kind of grade it the same way as I did on the last one. So I would say it's a four as well. A solid four. Hazy Ipa is kind of a poetic name, isn't it? Hmm. I like this one as well. Oh, it makes me think about summer and 3.7. say 2.5 and then I'm being generous. Not more than two for me. Kind of disappointing. I was expecting chocolate. This one is a vanilla IPA. I don't know if my tasting buds are off because I can't find vanilla in that <laughs> Me neither. There's a lot of honey. Very bitter. Mm -hmm. Not as sweet as you expect when no. it's vanilla. There is a run somewhere. I'm gonna say 2.7. 2.5? Okay, this one is the one that I have the highest hopes for. This is the one that is flavored with Lefroy, so it's peat. You can really smell the peat, and that's a good thing. Oh, that's nice. You can <laughs> smell the peat. And the peatiness really lingers on. Not your cup of tea. I'm not a whiskey drinker. This one is yours, honey. I have no problem with that. So I will give it a 3.2. Four. It's a solid four. Is there smoke coming out of our mouth? <laughs> <laughs> this one is also a whiskey, a rye whiskey, imperial brown porter. It should have some whiskey scent to it, but right now I'm only tasting the Lafroy. I think porter can be either is really good or I am having a hard time drinking it. It can be a bit too bitter. That's on the good side of porters. I'm gonna say it's a 3.6. I like it. I think it's soft, round, and has a gentle flavor of bread. And I do love bread. I like this one. 3.8. Wow. The first one you're rated higher than I have. Yeah. We have another Imperial Pisky style. The name sounds promising. Oh, and the scent is promising. Oh, it's like walking into a candy store. You know this old fashioned candy store? Oh. Mm. It's good, right? It's good. It's a 4.5 for me. I like this one. I'm gonna say it's the best one I've tried so far. I'm gonna say 4.2. This one is a black currant wild ale. Oh. Good, right? It's quite sour. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised that you like it because I do know that you are not that into sours. But it's not that sour, it's mm, refreshing. I'm gonna say that's a 3.8 for me. That's a 4 for me. Wow, so you rate the last few ones you rated higher than me only. Yeah. Really surprising. Cue the time lapse while we finish the beers. Wait 
to the final stop of our Krakow Taproom Safari. We are on our way to Craftonia. It smells like beer in here. They don't serve beer flights here, so we ordered four small ones. It's 20 centiliters for a glass. So what are we trying first? Svaziza Karni. It's an imperial stat on Jack Daniel's barrel. It's really smooth. You can taste just how smooth it is. You can hardly smell the Jack Daniel's. It's very subtle. I'm gonna say this is probably a 3.8. I would give it a 4. I really liked it. And I'm not a Jack Daniels drinker. The second one we're trying is called Drugi Snia Danie. It's an imperial chocolate berry banana sour. But it's not that strong. The ABV is 6.5. You can smell the banana. Seems like we have a winner. That's really good. It's like the best of both worlds. You have the imperial stout feeling to it and it's a sour. I have to say this is actually one of the best ones we've had in Krakow. So I would say it's a 4.3. This is better. But I will give it a 4.2. Hmm? We're moving on to the more lighter side, the fruitier side. The company is the mango. I won't reveal anything at the moment. <laughs> The scent is mango marmalade, but the taste is a little thick, a little light. I actually think it's quite nice being an IPA. I'm not that big on IPAs. It's, it's like drinking lemonade. Yeah. And there's a, a, a hint of bubblegum to it as well. Oh, yes. And I do like bubblegums. <laughs> That's a fun thing about you. You like bubblegums. I do, I love them. I'm going to say this is uh, 3.8. To me, it's kind of an ordinary but with a little twist, so 3.5. Okay, so the last one. Oh, it has way more IPA scent than the other one. A really cold one of this in a warm summer day would be perfect. The first one we tried has all the best traits of an IPA to me. This one has all the bad traits of an IPA. So, mm, not, uh, again, it might be a very good IPA for those who like it, but to me it's a little bit thin and alcoholic. So, I'm going to say 2.8. Oh yeah, yeah, I would give it a 33. So the winner is? The banana, chocolate, sour, whatever it was called. Wow. It was nice. But the Jack Daniels mm. ones, it's also, it's really nice. So those two really stand out. They don't serve food here, only snacks. So we ordered some popcorn. <laughs> we got a whole bowl. <laughs> Craftonia is a really nice place. Unfortunately, they don't serve food, but great snacks and very good beers. That's it. Ah, oh, the pastry stout. Mm. This was really fun and I don't think this is the last taproom safari we're doing. So until next time. Cheers. <laughs>